Hello, my name is Gregory Bailey. I'm the Technology Resource Specialist at the Hudson Valley Arbor, and I'm putting together a quick video on how to use IM Translator extension in Google Chrome. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have Chrome. It's a browser, just like Safari or Internet Explorer or Microsoft Edge or Firefox. Um, you can download it from the internet, but most devices already have Chrome installed. Once you install Chrome, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to navigate to the following URL, chrome.google.com. It's going to bring you to the page where you could download it, but up here you'll see that there's an option for extensions. If I click on extensions, this brings you to the Chrome Web Store, and there are thousands upon thousands of extensions that are available to you to install. I already have many installed up here in the top right, but many of these are intended just to make your life easier or help you focus. Uh, I'd suggest just checking it out sometime. This one looks interesting, Linguix. Anyway, back to what we're talking about. I'm going to do a search for IM Translator. That's the name of the extension that we're going to install today. So IM Translator, and it'll be the first hit that you get in the search results. It looks like this. It says IM Translator, Translator, Dictionary, and TTS. When you click Add to Chrome, it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to do this? Yes, and watch up here at the top right. There it is, it appeared as an extension, it has now been installed, and now we can use it. So, what you would normally do is you would just be navigating to any article or website and say, for example, you wanted to translate some text quickly. In this case, I have the Lord of the Rings Wikipedia page pulled up. One of my favorite movies, one of my favorite books. Um, yeah, that's all I need to say about that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight, let's just do the first sentence. And you're gonna get two pop-ups. This one is Remembery, that's for another video. And you also get, it keeps disappearing, this one, this little chat bubble. I'm gonna click the chat bubble and what will appear is this little pop-up like this. And I'm gonna remove the uh, citation indicator. Let me, oh it doesn't, all right. So here's the deal. Here's the text that I, I highlighted. Here it is in Google. I can hit up here to translate this into Danish. And now it's quickly translated in the screen. I don't need to go anywhere else. This is pulled up right in front of me. So if you're doing face-to-face uh, -face teaching or if you're teaching remotely and you needed to translate something quickly for students, with this extension installed, you could just quickly click on the bubble and provide an, a translation for students and English language learners in your class. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the English setting. And I'm just going to click this little speech bubble, or the uh, little speaker. The Lord of the Rings is an epic, one high fantasy novel written by English author and scholar J.R.R. Tolkien. So it'll read out loud the text that you have highlighted, and it does it quickly. Now what's nice about this is that up here I can click this to make it read it out loud. Here is the copy, the translation. I can make the font size larger if you're in the classroom and students in the back can't see it. Here's a help button, and I can also pin this pop-up bubble so that it will stay on the screen until I decide to get rid of it. What's also nice about this is that I can access all these languages in Google Translate, but over here, these little GMTY, these are four different translators that you can quickly access immediately instead of having to go to all the different websites. So this is Google Translate, this is Microsoft Translate, this is Translator, and this is Yandex. And so each one, as we've all learned, each translator tr treats um, language differently. So if I translate this into Spanish, here's the Google Translate version. El Señor de los Anillos es una novela épica. Un and as you can see, it'll read out loud the translation. Here's the Microsoft translation. Here's the translator tra translation. And here's the Yandex translation. So you have multiple ways of accessing multiple translations without ever actually having to lead, leave the website that you're currently browsing. Now, one other thing I want to show you with this is that if I highlight more than one sentence, it opens up another page for speech, which allows me to slow down the speed the at which it's read it. and make many other adjustments. So that is I am Translator. If you have any questions, gbailey at swboces.org. Thank you.